Constitution is being violated in two ways currently, within our budget and within our Saturday, Senator ratification process. Um, it recently came to our attention that due to an oversight of the executive team, um, that we had have had two senators, Diego and Anna. Okay. So I'm going to continue. Um, it has recently come to our attention that due to an oversight of the executive team, um, we have uh, had two senators, Diego and Anna, sitting in our Senate who were never officially ratified. Um, today we'll be dotting our I's and crossing our T's and going through the official ratification of these two senators as well as two newcomers. Um, due to the circumstance, Diego and Anna will be allowed to sit at the Senate table leading up to their ratification vote. However, the two senators in question will not be allowed to vote on matters until after ratification. So on a final note, I would like... Uh, that's actually a... Uh, your statement's continuing on in a minute, but we, we've actually already discussed this in the Senate, and at the moment you're choosing to make a decision uh, based on your decision, so at this point uh, we're going to go ahead and appeal the Chair's decision on that very statement you're making. Motion denied. I'm going to continue. We're appealing the Chair's decision. Motion denied, so I'm going to continue. <laughs> uh, uh, so these past two weeks have been deeply yeah. embarrassing for ASLCCSG, and as an organization, um, I promise to you that we are using this as a learning opportunity. And I'd also like to apologize to anyone who has been within our spaces while this has been occurring who has felt unsafe or disrespected. I can assure you we are actively working on ways to make our spaces more inclusive and equitable for everyone. I feel hopeful that we will soon be moving past our differences so we can begin, begin to work on unifying our team to be more effective in representing you all. Uh, with that being said, we'll be moving into Item two of the agenda, which is introductions. Um, introductions is a new agenda item, which we will be seeing consistently on the agenda from now on. Uh, many students at large and people across campus are entering our spaces, sometimes for the first time, uh, for the first time in these Senate meetings. And I think it's important to introduce ourselves. Um, so with that, we're gonna start, uh, Michael, we start us off with uh, your name and pronouns. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael. I'm a senator here, and my pronouns are he and his. Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Wilson. Uh, I've been a senator here since the beginning of summer, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Hi, my name is Hannah Lyon. I am a senator here, and my pronouns are she, her, they. And my name is Dick Keogh, I'm the acting vice president, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Hello everybody, my name is Adam Atman. Uh, I'm a senator here, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, hello, my name is Caleb Peterson, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you. Um, so with that, we'll be moving into item three of the agenda, approval of minutes from last week's meeting, which was October 25th, 2018. Um, I will open the floor to discussion and entertain any motions. Yeah, I'll start this off. There's been uh, a few spots in here that are uh, concerning. Every single point of information has been written down as a point of interest. It's just a random point that needs to be corrected. Uh, the names have been abbreviated in some places and not been fully written out. Uh, for example, it says Dai instead of Diego. And, uh, oh, that's it now. Point of information. What does it say? Or point of clarification. What does it say? Uh, there is a section in here where it's referring to something I was saying in the 20, uh, 1025 meeting, and it says Dai as opposed to my name Diego. Uh, and then DI the or DIE? DIE. Yep. Um, I made a point of information when Diego was talking and it was not put into the minutes. Okay. Entertain any motions? Um, I move to uh, amend the minutes to include my point of information um, regarding a conversation that Diego had and to correct the spelling mistakes. Um, so you can't make an amendment because there hasn't been a motion, but if you just want to make a motion, that okay. makes... I move to approve the minutes with the change that we just discussed. There's been a motion to approve the minutes with the changes we just discussed. Um, is there a second? Second that. Uh, seconded by Hannah. Um, so with that, we'll move into a vote. Um, all those in favor of approving the minutes from last week, uh, from last, uh, from the last meeting with the changes we just discussed. Five uh, opposed. Abstentions. 
Vote passes uh, 5 0 0. Um, and with that, we'll move into the approval of the uh, agenda, which is um, item number four. Um, um, uh, for the sake of time, this agenda will be closed and not open to any motions for change. And with that, we'll move forward into uh, item five, statements from the gallery. We move to appeal the chair's decision. Motion denied. You don't get to deny that. That's something you yeah. cannot touch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll have a second. Uh, yeah. I, as the chair, set the agenda, and the agenda will not be open. We do not have time today to like discuss this. Yeah. We're going to have to and move on and enter the chair's decision. The chair's decision can be overturned, yes. and I just gave the proper motion to do that. We now go to a vote, and two thirds approves. We overturn your decision. That is for our rules of order. Okay, what's the motion? I move to appeal the chair's decision. Okay, there's been a motion to appeal the chair's decision. Made by Diego, is there a second? I second, second that. Um, seconded by Hannah. Um, we will move into discussion, starting with the new group. Yeah, uh, this was brought up earlier in the meeting. Uh, it was ignored vehemently. I'm glad that we finally got to it. And I want to correct, I said a two-thirds majority, it's actually a simple majority. Um, so, there's been a lot of issues with this agenda, and I feel like the Senate has been unheard in allowing us to change the rule, right that wrong, and then give us the chance to change the agenda. That's what we're doing. And any further discussion? I just was also kind of alarmed with us wanting to approve an agenda as if we had a matter of uh, choice in that. Yes. Okay, and we will move into a vote. All those in favor? Five. And opposed? Abstentions? Okay, so what changes the agenda would you all like to see? I move to have the ratifications of Amin's. Diego, our patients A and B, from the agenda. Okay. Um, there's been a motion to remove the ratifications of Ana and Diego from the agenda. There's a second. Adam? Okay. Um, and we'll start with discussion on the maker motion. I have a motion. There's like the mnemonic about um, like when there's an improper use of an appeal to the chair that has to do with no facts, evident truth, established rules, or operative laws. Our constitution uh, must be followed. You can suspend the bylaws, but you cannot suspend the constitution. And it states that if um, if such an appeal is made, the chair can roll it out of order immediately without opening it to the to or putting it to a vote. Good information. Thank you for that point, but it has nothing to do with what just happened. You wish to um, suspend the Constitution and not ratify our senators, or you wish to table the ratification? This is not about tabling the ratification, it's about removing the ratification from the agenda. That is um, dilatory, and it is inappropriate to violate our constitution. Well, your permission, thank you for your feedback, but we've already moved on this. Yes, so we have to move moving forward. Um, I'm going to call the orders of the day, and I'm going to actually deny the motion as it is. Um, call it a point of order. It, I, let me finish for a Sorry. I'm going to deny the motion uh, to. Point of order, I can interrupt you, and the point of order is that you are doing something against the correct means of Robert's rules. We've already got to this point. Where we are at right now is taking a vote. It's happened. And at this point, we're now having a conversation regarding the agenda. Specifically, we're taking a vote to approve the agenda. Yeah, so... Um, or rather, approve the motion. Y'all move to override my um, closure of the agenda, but I can deny the, the specific motion that's taking the ratifications off, as it would be breaking our constitution to not have the ratifications on that. I'm going to appeal the chair's decision again, and we're going to go to a vote to appeal the chair's decision again. Caleb has a point of information. I have a question. 
So right now, is Diego considered a senator? Um, not technically, no. So that's so why I went through my motion information. Uh, I've actually voted in this already and been acknowledged by the chair as voting. So at this point, the chair has in fact acknowledged me as a senator. So I just want to fully understand where you and Alma are sitting in this position because I'm confused about how we are voting on if you can vote um, to remove your own ratifications. That's where I'm getting confused was, in all of this. That was my motion. How, in general, it can be moved that we can participate in a vote of removing your ratification. I'm going to call to the orders of the day. The motion has been denied, and we're going to move forward into statements of the gallery. Appeal Thank you. decision. Motion okay. denied. You don't get to do so that. So we're yeah, moving into statements from the gallery, everyone. Each gallery member will be given uh, two minutes. Nicholas, you are directly in contradiction with Robert's rules, and we have a your decision, and you must acknowledge it as a facilitator. You can follow what the elements are, and you don't get to rule what happens, especially when it's an appeal to your very decision. So we're going to move on into statements from the gallery. Okay. Um, each gallery member will be given two minutes. Point, we're we're going to move on into galleries and statements. Thank you so much. Right I appreciate sure. it. As chair, we're going to keep this moving forward. And we can overrule your decisions anytime we want, as is outlined in Robert's rules. As chair, all you do is facilitate the meetings. You do not get to step over people, especially when they're appealing your decision. Now please stop and acknowledge that we are currently appealing your decision. So the statements of the gallery. Um, this is the time. Okay, decision. we're moving on. At this point, we're moving on. You cannot we're say moving on because the Senate is we, and you are not the Senate. You are the chair, and you are. The and as chair, I'm having us move on. So we're going to go as to the statements chair, of the gallery. You thank you so much. You your decision, right. And at this point, you need to acknowledge that. Unfortunately, that's where we are stuck. So each gallery will be given two minutes. You your decision, and you need to acknowledge that we are doing your decision. Your Senate is being I'm going to yield my time to Dan Good. Nicholas, that is how we are at right now. I would like to just remind the Senate that there is nothing in our Constitution or our bylaws that mandates us, mandates y'all to actually go forth with Robert's rules. It is something that has been taken up from Senate, passed on to Senate, and that is something that is actually right now has not been acknowledged and that we are. I was just actually acknowledged by the chair. I, as the chair, acknowledge him. As the chair, you've been acknowledging the the gallery before you acknowledging your own Senate. I'm just letting you know that you do not have to follow the rules. And we're going to move on into statements of the gallery because Nicholas, we have a lot point, to, to discuss. And you have to we have a lot to, to discuss within this meeting. We have a budget to pass. And, and we're going to move forward into statements from the gallery. Nicholas, so thank you so point, much. You're your decision, and you have to acknowledge the fact that you're appealing your decision. Okay, and I'm <laughs> moving forward. You have to actually do your job, Nicholas. You have to actually. First of all, I go by Nick. Please stop calling me Nicholas. Sorry. Second of all, we're going to move forward into statements from the gallery. Thank you so much. We're going to move on, okay? You have to accept the vote. This is where you're at right now. Please stop making this difficult for no reason. Your Senate is being unheard. We are asking you to do your job. Point of information, this is dilatory in nature as it, um, it is an unnecessary delay in the important issues that we need to bring up. And I don't see the point in doing this if it's against our Constitution. You it is your interpretation. Listen to the chair, and it is not allowed in Robert's rule. If you want to follow Robert's rule, to interrupt anybody, and you must point be of information. Person even right using now points of information to interrupt people is, is inappropriate in Robert's rule. We're going to call to the orders of the day, and we're going to move into statements from the gallery. Right, call this the is the time. The day you are Let me speak right back to where we were, and that is currently appealing the decision of the chair. We're going to move forward. And I've made that clear. That at this point, we're going to go into statements from the gallery. Are we using Robert's rules or not? Yeah. At this point. Are we, are we using our virtual because the Senate Are they just guidelines, control? or, you know, are we going to have yeah, stability? We would have to be voted into our bylaws if we could move on with our, like, if you all don't want to do the ratifications as representatives of ASLCC, you can have to stay in and give your voice to somebody else, but I don't see why you're holding up this meeting when we Another know we have a budget to pass. Point the person in the meeting is Nicholas, and that he will not acknowledge the it's appeal. Nick. So sorry. Nick wants to move forward with the media. So you're interrupting me. As an unratified senator, right if you cannot be respectful and decision. continue to interrupt people, you can leave the state. Point of information, your opinion is singular. And at the moment, we are 
We're currently at committee chair's decision, and if we call the order for the day, that is exactly where we left off. Well, you can take it up with your lawyer after. Point of information. Why are you still speaking when we are trying to have this move forward? Specifically, Statements from the gallery is a time for students at large to bring to the Senate their concerns and voice their opinions on ASL speaking matters. This is going beyond. That is the point of our unity agreement that we wanted to work on for respect. That was the next thing we were on the agenda. You cannot suspend the Constitution and not ratify the Senate. That point is relevant, but not to this here. Our constitution is six. You're now saying that we've basically been running with four, hypothetically, this whole time. That doesn't make sense. We've been unconstitutional this whole time, and now it's suddenly to someone's at the end. I'm going to call to the order of the day, and we're going to move into statements from the gallery. This is the time for students at large to bring to the Senate their concerns and voice their opinions on ASLCC matters. The Senate and staff shall not respond to gallery statements. Senators and staff, if you wish to respond, please so please do so within your Senate report or after the meeting. I move to go into executive session. I move to go into executive session, and I second the motion. There has been a motion to move into executive session um, by Michael and seconded by Anna. Uh, we'll move into discussion on the matter starting with Michael. It kind of goes without saying at this point, but I think this is something that we need to have a closed discussion regarding. I feel the same way. I don't feel like there's any need for a gallery at this point because this needs to be discussed among the Senate and among the executives. I'm going to stack myself. I think that what they just said right there is dead on the money, and that at this point we aren't even functioning as a Senate, and this is an embarrassment to every single person in here. You know, my main goal today is pass the budget. There are a lot of people that are relying on that budget to be passed, and we sit here and we argue. We're not going to pass the budget. We're going to be. We're going to continue to be in violation of our constitution, and this is just frankly embarrassing. I think we're all in favor of passing the budget, but this instability. Oh, oh. Well, we're not getting there, and that's the problem. We're yes. Not, I want us to work together in unity, and this is not unity. This is not the senators working together. This is just us embarrassing ourselves. This is not what I represent. I think that, in my opinion, I think that this ratification process, I don't like it. I don't think it's legitimate. I don't approve of Diego's behaviors or the things that he said, but I think that this ratification process is not the way to do it. But if we're going to sit here and argue and shut down another meeting and not pass the budget, I can't stand for that. So we need to make a decision instead of sit here and argue. Because <laughs> I'm just, I'm losing it. <laughs> it's okay, Caleb, you're going on the money again. And I'm going to say it again. At this point, we are arguing over basic stuff. When someone appeals to chair's decision, the chair is supposed to react accordingly. At this point, the, what, the roadblock that we have hit is directly the chair. And that's an unfortunate dilemma here where that's why we are now bringing this into an executive meeting so that we can handle our business before we bring it out and share it with everyone else. Yes, sir. Kind of information, we're supposed to discuss the work session and we've already had time to discuss this. Kind of information, the Senate was unheard at the work session and the entire temperature check was ignored and the Senate was unanimous in not having this on the agenda. So that was not a work session. That's that not, was, that's point of information. That is not what my um, temperature check was to. My temperature check, my recollection of the temperature check was if we thought that this was a legitimate process. No, I do not think this is a legitimate process. But I think that we need to move through this and go through this. And if something goes wrong, then we'll deal with that. But I'm not going to sit here and argue over this. We're half an hour into the meeting, and we haven't even approved of the agenda. We have a motion on the table. I move the last question that brings it into a vote since that's kind of the hard one now because we don't want to know that brings it to a vote. We're now voting on whether or not we are entering the executive session. Can so um, all those in favor of entering executive session? Four opposed. One abstentions. 
vote passes uh, four one zero and this is not an executive. I have a question. Um, could you all postpone so students could just make their statements real quick? No. No. Students are being heard now. Why are 